BMW X7 review. What is it? Have we reached peak grill yet? The X7 is BMW's biggest and most luxurious SUV, and it wants to be noticed. Even the BMW badge on the nose had to be made bigger to match this thing's outsized swagger. Why on earth does it need to look like that? Well, this is the newly facelift X7, now with even more impact. The 2022 redesign introduced an even bigger grille, as well as the strange split headlight look that we still can't get used to. Elsewhere it's as flat and boxy as ever. And it's not just about wedging in as many people as possible, although you do of course get 7 seats as standard. The X7 is all about luxury. It takes themes from the 7 Series and the 8 er to make BMW's 3 flagship fleet. They want us to see this top-end trio as a separate high-end luxury series. As a clue, they add the strapline Bayerischer motor and work to all the advertising. Why? Because the fashion business often uses the full name for the top-end stuff, Paul Smith, Calvin Klein, and initials for the diffusion line, PS, CK. If you find this almost comically subtle, we're right with you. But these aren't really a separate line. In design and tech, they are bigger, better, plusher BMW S. End of. If you like BMW S, that's fine, they polish up the brand. What the 8 Series and X7 don't do is provide the stand-apart specialness of an Aston Martin DBX or Range Rover, a car the X7's project team call a rival. What separates this from a Range Rover, then? Unlike the Range Rover, all X7S have three rows of seats. The middle row has the option of either a pair of plush individual thrones, or a three-seat split bench, making this a nursery-run showerbank of unparalleled luxury. Which no one will use it for. As usual BMW has thrown masses of technical wizardry at the chassis, so this truck-sized monster can perform surprising off-road feats. Which no one will use it for. What about on-road? The same technologies make it track-capable. Which no one will use it for. The now-deceased pre-facelift, quad-turbo M50D version equaled the Nordschleife time of the V8 engine E90 M3. Yet more proof that a quick ring time says nothing about what makes a driver's car. All of which makes the X7 sound vastly pointless. But do those abilities actually foster a sense of well-being and fathomless indomitability, or do they make it cumbersome and compromised? Do I have to have a diesel? You do not. In the UK your standard options are now the Xtrive 40i petrol or the Xtrive 40d diesel. Both are 3.0 litre straight sixes, with 375 brake horsepower for the 40i and 335 brake horsepower for the 40d. If you have more compensating to do, there's the twin turbo 4.4 litre petrol V8 in the range topping M60i. That produces a monstrous 523 brake horsepower and 553 pounds feet of torque. All X7S send their power to all four wheels through 8-speed auto gearboxes, and all are now helped along by 48V mild hybrid tech.